Okay, so we're going to try a little test here of the Esbit pocket stove. Uh, we're going to try and heat up some water and make some instant coffee here. So, let's see how this works. I like this pocket stove because you can store uh, four of the fuel cubes right inside, so that's kind of handy. So we're just going to take one of these, and according to the tests I've seen by other YouTubers, these uh, solid fuel cubes last right around 13 or 14 minutes which should be more than enough to heat up some water. So you can see there's a little indentation here. We're going to put that down in there. And then this has two positions. Um, since our canteen cup or our Nalgene bottle cup is going to kind of fall through this way, you can close it up one notch and then it should sit... <laughs> should sit... Uh, fairly okay there. So what I'm going to do is move some of this stuff out of the way. See if we're still in view here. I know that uh, there you guys should be able to see that. So let me find my lighter. And here we're not going to use any primitive fire making. We're just going to use a lighter but of course you should be able to use a fire steel or whatever on this. Try and do this so I don't get my hands. And this uh, Scripto mini lighter is good because you can crank up that that flame a little bit there. You don't want to hold one of these uh, too long because then it's going to melt. I don't know if uh, most smokers know this, but uh, you don't want to keep the flame going on these Bic lighters too long or the guts here will melt and this could all come flying out. I don't think it's going to explode, but you will have a could have a large flame on your hands here. So there we go. And I lit up pretty quick. Move this coffee out of the way. Now we're going to pour about let's say three quarters of a cup uh, of water here just to make it a good test so that's I don't know if you can see that but we got about three quarters of a cup of water there let's set this back down and of course we're going to use our handles on our Nalgene cup and hopefully I've got this fairly level uh, I'm on a picnic bench here that is kind of slanted but that's not too bad um, what you probably can't see in this view is on the bottom of this cup there's a little bit of an indentation in fact I can show you that right now see there's a bit of an indentation in that so what I'm going to try and do here is catch that indentation on one side. But you can see this is uh, firing up pretty good. I've already got some steam coming off the water, in fact, here. You can see the water. I don't know if you can tell there. Got some steam coming off of it already. didn't bring my tripod today so forgive the instability of this camera but what's nice about this you should be able to see the flames are coming out both sides of this and really heating up this um, Nalgene cup very well
So we'll let that cook for a minute. And the steam is really coming off the top of that water pretty good now. And I don't think um, we need to get this to a boil. Um, we're not purifying the water here. All we're doing is um, heating this up so we can make some coffee. But if we were to boil this water, we could probably get it going with this solid fuel cube because like I've seen from other um, videos, you can get a good 13 to 14 minutes off one of these cubes, so that should be more than enough to boil water. Yeah, so um, looks like we're getting to almost a boiling uh, point with this. If you guys uh, wonder what the noise is, we've got some dog walkers here. A lot of people use this park for walking their dogs. But let's set this camera back here and watch this water boiling. And what I'm noticing too about this is this um, this handle's not getting hot in the least. So the design of that is pretty good. One thing, um, I saw another guy do a video on uh, Coughlin and wet fire cubes. And the Coughlin cubes really put a lot of gunk and soot on the bottom of the canteen cup the guy was making a test with. In this case, we're going to get a little soot. I can see it already, but that's probably unavoidable. You know, you're talking about different types of fires, and, you know, we're used to having natural gas, clean burning natural gas, and putting our pots on the stove and not really dealing with soot. But, you know, if you're dealing in a camping situation or a survival situation, you're going to get some soot. <laughs> and... I don't think you really have to worry too much about that. In fact, that's what the stainless steel is all about. You can just wipe that off and you don't have to worry. So, I don't know if you can see in there, but uh, the cube is about probably only about half used. And I haven't been timing this, but uh, looks like the video timer says about, looks like eight eight and a half minutes. So that's probably right in keeping with some of the other folks that have done this test. Um, it's about half used and I'm assuming we got about halfway to go with the flame here. And we're starting to get some bubbles in here. And at this point this water is definitely good for coffee or tea. And they say when you're purifying water, uh, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to boil it at a rolling boil continuously. Um, if you bring it to a boil, by bringing it to a boil, which would be 212 degrees, you're bringing it up through the pasteurization temperature, which I believe is about 165 degrees. So, you know... Um, this would be a good way to purify your water. Uh, I'll note too, I was experimenting with the idea of using Sterno as a source of uh, heat uh, for a kind of an impromptu stove. 
And a guy commented on the channel, uh, made the point that Sterno really doesn't get hot enough. Uh, it's meant for keeping food warm. So I'm going to take his word on that and um, assume that these solid fuel type stoves are going to be better. So I, he, he made the point he didn't even think you could get water boiling with Sterno. Um, said that he worked in the uh, concessions industry. So I'll take his word on that. Um, plus, this is way more convenient than Sterno because what you can do is you can see I've got four cubes here. When you buy the stove, it comes with six cubes, uh, four of which will fit in here when you fold this up. So it's a n nice tight package, um, and you get plenty of burn time out of it. So I think this is probably the best way to go. This was 10 bucks. this ESPIT, and that was at R uh, REI, and they're pretty expensive normally. Uh, I think this price is pretty good. And I suspect it's probably because people that go to REI are typically probably going to be buying those more expensive type pack stoves and not dealing with this. But this is perfect for what I'm using it for. And you can see I've got uh, almost got a boil going here. Okay, calm down. I think he's making a cup of coffee. Yeah, he's just making a cup of coffee. Hey guys. How you doing? <laughs> Okay, yeah, testing out this Espit stove, this little uh, solid oh, fuel stove. Oh, okay. So. See, he's just making a cup of coffee. Jay, your hands get All right, let's go. Up. Let's go. Let's go back. <laughs> this sparked interest in the trail. Different way of making coffee. So you can see this uh, yeah, water we're, starting we're to boil coffee, here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, guys are spoiled. <laughs> you have a good night. Hey, take care. So we've got our water. It's definitely starting to boil. We've got the bubbles coming off the bottom. Not a rolling boil, but definitely the water is boiling. And um, Okay, so looks like we are just about out of solid fuel. And I filled this cup about three quarters of the way, and it definitely is boiling. Uh, you can see the bubbles on the bottom there. So pretty good test and it's uh boy I think it's probably about 50 45 50 degrees out today not super cold but not a uh, warm day and we were able to get the water boiling with one solid fuel uh, cube so definitely doable for tea or coffee uh, definitely a way to get your water boiling for purification so definitely a good test okay so there the solid fuel is just about gone you can see in there it's just barely burning no more bubbles coming off the bottom although we did have this boiling for a little while so any water in there would be purified by now uh, we've used some clean water so that's not a factor for us but definitely uh, a way to make coffee or tea or purify your water uh, make some soup or ramen noodles whatever you need so we're gonna dump a little coffee grounds in here make some coffee the old-fashioned way actually <laughs> so we're gonna take our coffee packet and we're gonna dump it in there make ourselves some coffee I thought this was gonna be uh, ground coffee but that's okay it's a coffee packet like you see in hotel rooms. So this will be a little bit neater than I was anticipating, which is always good. Uh, I did not bring my uh, spork, um, so that's one thing that it'd be good to have. But I do have my Spyderco Endura 4, and I can use that to manage this coffee pouch. Just got to be careful not to puncture that. I'm just going to work this coffee pouch in there a little bit. Get the coffee stirring up in there. 
and as you can see we've got a little bit of residue left in the bottom of this stove but boy that's a pretty neat um, fire very self-contained you can see I did this on the top of a uh, picnic bench and there's no no burning, no scorching, no problem there. Uh, you probably want to put this on the ground or, or somewhere uh, safe picnic bench obviously in this case worked although I wouldn't be doing this on my kitchen table. Um, so there you go. Looks like a pretty good test and this is already cool to the touch so I'm going to take the remaining cubes and just store them in here and I've got uh, some extras this comes with um, six of them we'll go ahead and put another one in there so we're loaded up for the next round so there you go pretty neat package stores up quite nice um, made our coffee and now I'm gonna take this pouch out of here try not to puncture it set that there and let me just test this it's a pretty hot cup so let's see how this coffee tastes That's good stuff. So there you go.